Hello ladies and gentlemen, Rekka the Cube SMP and in today's episode I think we are going to actually finish up the dunk game. I just have to do some minor tweaks that I want to get this done with. Um, I actually went through and placed hardened clay all around here. Um, and there's another thing that I really want to do this episode. I want to set up a beacon in the um, the mesa biome so I could start gathering up hardened clay over there. I don't think there's one over there, but I like to do that because I need a lot of hardened clay for this build because majority of it is hardened clay and I've abused all of my hardened clay and it's all gone and Devin doesn't have that much um, colored ones so I would like to actually get that going um, I don't know how quick these actually might I do have haste 2 on um, this is efficiency 4 not efficiency 5 it breaks I think it might be an insta mine if it's uh, efficiency 5 I don't have that on me right now um, but I want to start doing this what I want to do specifically is I want to make it, I, I'm going to cut out the, you guys hate redstone. I know there's a few of that, you that do like seeing what happens with redstone. Um, but 90% of it is people saying I don't understand it and they don't really care to understand it. So I think I'm going to go ahead and just do it all off camera. Um, what I want to do is have the person throw one gold ingot in here. I'm going to make this cost one gold ingot uh, per attempt because it's actually really, really difficult. <laughs> it is not easy at all. You could sit here for days and not hit it days I'll allow them to jump jumping does make it a little bit easier <laughs> okay let's get up right next to it oh my god oh my god where are you <laughs> there we go oh my god I'm telling you it's really not easy <laughs> it is really really hard to hit this stupid little trip wire that's why I'm going to make it one gold ingot. Um, a lot of you have given suggestions. I want to go pick out my favorites though. Oh, hi phone. Phone go butter. Um, I still haven't decided which one I want to do. I think most people are going with the teddy bear with the armor stand, but I want to get a general consensus. consensus. So I'm going to go through all of them. Um, but you're going to throw one gold ingot in here, and there will be a ton of bows in here. And you will take one of the bows, and then in here I'll have a dispenser shoot one arrow into here at a time. So if you put one gold ingot in here, um, the hopper will take it through. It'll go through a sorting system. And then there'll be a pulse that goes into this little um, dispenser. It shouldn't be too hard to redstone. <laughs> too redstone. Um, but it should be done fairly soon. So I'll get work on working on that, and hopefully I get that done. So I'll be back, guys. Just give me a moment. Alright guys, we're back, and over here I placed some signs, we got the payment chest, we got the take one bow chest, we got the, if you pay one gold ingot, you will receive one arrow chest. <laughs> so basically, if you put a gold ingot in here, let's try this out really quick, you saw that there was nothing in there, there'll go one gold ingot in there, and now there will be one arrow in here, which you can use to do it. Um, if you do, let's actually try this out really quick, there's my phone, <laughs> phones are nice. Um, let's say I throw ten gold ingots in here, will I get ten arrows? I'm confused about this, will I? No, I figured I wouldn't because then it would keep uh, giving off a pulse. So you cannot throw more than one gold in there. If you do, you're an idiot. <laughs> I'm sure there's a way around the red something I could do that, but I don't want to play with it right now. Give me that. Um, You can see that down here I have a little dropper. So if I can click it, yep, I can. Um, let's fill you up. There we go. Um, but I want to talk to you guys about prizes. So last episode, I asked you guys, what should I do about prizes? And I saw a lot of good suggestions. I saw, like, <laughs> leather, which sounds horrible. It's like, oh, God, teddy bears are made out of leather. No, let's not do that. Um, and I saw other cool things, like with the armor stands, naming things. But I saw a few that I really liked. A few people mentioned this. Um, each time you win a game, you should get a little receipt that will give you one token, one token or one thing, and you could use that token in a shop, like kind of like an arcade, how you like get up on the tickets and then you'd be able to redeem it for something cool. That's what I'm thinking about doing. So maybe like um, naming a bunch of paper and then <laughs> uh, having people be able to redeem it in there. Um, the way I'm thinking about it now is. Like, how would I stop people from ripping me off and just name tagging themselves? Uh, when they walk through the doors over here, I think I should make it so that you have a locker room and you have to dump out everything. Everything except maybe your armor or something like that. Or maybe, yeah, no, get rid of everything. <laughs> You'll have a uh, designated chest for yourself over here for lockers. And then we'll have them dump off everything except maybe if, uh, no, they can't bring tickets back in. I don't know, I'm trying to figure all this stuff out, um, but if you guys have any suggestions on what you think about that, uh, be sure to tell me. Um, what I'm going to go do now is I actually want to get a beacon going in the Mesa biome, so I'm going to go set that up and I'll be back, guys. Aha! I knew I had a beacon somewhere. I was trying to remember where it was, and it was actually over here in the end when I was trying to farm all the end stuff. 
Um, I need the end stone for the um, prank that I did for Russia. So let's start grabbing this stuff. I really, I really miss the iron. I need it. Give me it. Give me it. I want it all. All right, guys, I'll be back. We'll be in the mesa. All right, guys, we're back, and I got the beacon all set up over here. It <laughs> I got my beacon all set up over here. I've been gathering some stuff. I've been like uh, flattening out this platform. Um, this is an efficiency five of breaking three uh, pick. I brought it from my house, and it is almost an insta. Actually, I think it is an insta mine. Wow. <laughs> okay, I didn't actually expect that to be quite fair. Um, so we're gonna have a lot of hardened clay after this, and I don't have to keep buying it. So we're good now. Yay! Oh, I also did bring an ender chest. I normally always have an ender chest on me, just in case. The thing about this ender chest is I don't have a silk touch on me. I have a fortune three and just I'm breaking whatever. Um, oh, yeah. I went caving. <laughs> that's what I did in one of my last episodes. I went on a Q&A session. Okay, that's why I had the ender chest on me too. Um, but I'm really looking forward to grabbing all of this red clay and using it. I'm very excited. I'm very excited. So I'll be back. I'm going to keep mining this for a little bit. See how much stuff we can get. I'm going to have to bring it all back to my base too. Um, so that'll be a few trips. Um, the the It's south. The, the the what's it called uh the nether portal is over there um i didn't do it over there because a lot of people have been mining that out already and i wanted my own like little area i'm not too far away but i just wanted to make sure i could get as much red clay as possible because that's the main one that i'm probably going to be using um although all of this is going to come in handy whether it be the um normal stain or just hardened clay on its own or other things like that so i'm going to keep gathering these up and i'll be back guys hold on Hi right, guys, we're back, and I mined out this huge area, and a little bit up there, I actually wanted some quartz dirt, just, just in case I needed it, and I've been plugging out, like, trying to grab all of the uh, hardened clay as much as I could, so now, the unfortunate thing about the mesa biome is there is no green or lime green um, clay, which I do need a lot of, so I think what I want to do in today's episode, other than just, like, mine all the hardened clay, is I want to make a, I don't need the orange clay, I just want the hardened clay, and I think I just want the red clay, um, for now. Um, is I want to make a um, cactus farm. I need one. I need a cactus farm. I, I don't have one. I know Kevin sells it, but I don't want to keep on going back and buying his. I would actually like to make it on my own. So there, I grabbed some of the uh, hardened clay. Let's make sure I could grab nothing else. Uh, hardened clay and the red hardened clay. And we are going to go try and set up a simple little cactus farm. I think we'll do it somewhere under spawn. Maybe where I originally had the sugarcane farm. Just make a tiny little one. Cactus farms are really easy to make. You can see I mined out some of the yellow clay here just in case I needed it. Um, all the coarse dirt. Coarse dirt you grab with the silk touch pick. Um, coarse dirt. Just place you back. <laughs> you grab that. Oh, wait. Someone's been smelting up here. Yeah, there it is. Um, you can see where I am relationship to the nether portal. It's right there. You can see like people have been mining around here, so I decided that it might be a better idea to go away and grab my own because there are specific blocks that I really did want. Namely, the... How far does this go down? Oh, that's cool. I don't know how far the mesa go down. Does it go down to, like, zero or something like that? I don't know. Um, but I wanted to get my own place so I could um, grab all the stuff that I want. <laughs> the mesa biome is such a cool-looking biome. I love the black, red, red, black. <laughs> that looks really nice. All right, guys, so we're going to try setting this up. I should actually grab some cactus. That would help. Um, I'm going to grab this, and we're going to try setting it up in the uh, near spawn. <laughs> Hold on, guys. All right, guys, we're back, and I dug out this little area. I'm sure you guys remember the sugarcane farm down here. Um, I used to get tons of sugarcane down here, but I dug out this little area, and I think I have this all set up to what I want it to be. Um, I tried getting the exact um, dimensions to make it work like this. I actually can't remember if this will work or not. We're going to have to test it out now, though. So what we're going to do is place it like that, and let's go up here. And I need two more buckets. I, I should bring more buckets next time I come over. Um, but we'll go down here, and it should all lead right into the middle. So we place it like that. And we'll place it like that. Aha! Perfect. So every um, little thing that I'll drop in here will end up going to that. Um, so now I have to figure out what I'm going to do about the um, the cactus. This always confuses me a little bit. So I think we'll do like one up here. So we'll go like... Eh, nah, nah. I'll get rid of the cobblestone. No, I can't get... Yeah, I can get rid of the cobblestone. I'll go one more up. Um, and then we'll do... We'll have to have like a sign somewhere around here. Hmm. So we'll need to sign up here, so let's break. How am I going to do this? Alright, I have to go up. <laughs> I haven't made a cactus farm in such a long time. So up here, I'll put this block. Actually, this block. <laughs> and then we're going to need so uh, sand on all of these. Like right there, right there, right there, right there. I need to go one more up. Are you kidding me? Am I going to have space? I think I will have space for this, actually. So we'll go one more up, and I could get rid of these blocks. And now, 
I could place play signs. Um, do I have signs? I do. One right here. Get rid of you now. And then I'll go probably. Oh, I can make that jump. Um, let's go like. Actually, can I just do this? I think I can. Okay, so I'm not gonna necessarily need this block yet. Um, but let's break you. I love how signs have breaking animations now. Um, but we could do this. One right there. And one right there. And what this will do is when a cactus grows, it will automatically break. So let's see if I can test this actually. Oh, nope, cactus. So if I go right here, I can't place one. But if once that grows, it should break and then hopefully go into the water and lead down there, which will be into a hopper. And I can also break these, um, the bottom ones. I need the cobblestone under the sand there so it stays. So I can't. I don't have much of a choice for that one. Break. Yep, there we go. So that'll all go in there, hopefully. Um, now I have to make a few more. How can I jump up here? Or where can I end up placing these? Hmm. Let's make one go, or let's make a few. Let's have one right here. So we'll place like a sand right there. Let's place cactus all around too while I'm at it. Just cactuses all over the place. Um, and this should break automatically once it hits this thing. Uh, cactus actually break when um, there's a block next to them. So like right now if I decide that hey I want to place a block right here it'll break the cactus. Very <laughs> very weird. Very Cactuses are very weird. I don't understand them fully. Um, but now I could break you so the thing will keep going through. Um, and from this, let's go in the middle here so I don't keep on going off. Um, we'll place one. I'm guessing we could do one right here. I'll be blocking blocking the glowstone, but I'll end up getting rid of that block. Um, and do a sand right here. And we'll do the same thing over here. Um, I need to stop taking that off my hotbar. Grab you. Bump. Yeah, <laughs> I can't reach you. One right there, and one right there, and bump. And play sand all around here. So I'll end up like uh, trying to fix this out to be the best possible. I don't need too much cactus. I just want some for the time being. So I'll be back, guys. All right, guys, I'm back, and I managed to dig out a little hole over here. This is what it looks like. I just kind of added three more. I don't, like I said, I don't need an absurd amount of um, cactus, but I just want some for right now. <laughs> it's, it's nice to have more than enough. Um, so we're going to go over here. I think I placed four in the middle, three, so about ten. Ten's a good amount, I think. Um, so if we go, oh, God, that world was scary down there. Um, we are going to make a really, really... <laughs> cheesy little thing down here um, I do also want to make it so that they some of them will go into furnaces which would be really really nice just to like come down here and grab some smelted ones um, so what I'm gonna do is actually I have a ton of wood so I'm just gonna place a ton of wood in there to be smelted um, so what was I gonna do I was gonna make a uh, two two of those chest things I need the chest things that is what I need uh, let's go around here just really really simple just to grab these in there and then what I'm gonna do from here is I'll place you like right there I know it's not even it's gonna bother me as well um, but from here we'll have this thing lead into hey oh god how am I gonna okay let's break you actually <laughs> okay this this animations broken yep that animations for sure broken so we'll go like this bump and place the chest back here and we'll just put a furnace here. Just a really easy furnace, easy go lucky furnace. There's nothing in there, that's fine. Um, we'll just do one furnace. I don't think we need more than one. So we'll place one right there, break you. We can access it pretty easily. And let's grab some wood and just throw it in there. Um, we'll throw a stack in there. Wow, I had two stacks, perfect. <laughs> um, so that'll be the smelting thing. And if we get a cactus, it goes bump, 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 bump. It should go in there automatically, let's see. Let's say we throw one chest in there. Will there be another one? Hmm. Another will not be. Is this one of those things? Where, okay, I'm gonna let you smelt really quick. Um, is this one of those things where it has to be, um, filtered in from the top? Let's see. Okay, it, it does. <laughs> That's not that big of a deal. But let's place you in there for now. And when we come down, we should be able to get some cactus green. Um. I should actually grab half of you and let's double check this. So if I no 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 nope, that's not how you do this. So if I throw some cactus in there, there was six more. They're all feeding into there. Perfect. <laughs> so this worked out quite well actually. All right guys, so I'm gonna get some more cactus and let this thing go. I also have to make sure this is actually gonna work because I they haven't been here long enough. They've just been here for like 
five minutes. <laughs> so I have to let them grow and see if I actually grab any. Uh, make sure they all go in there as well. So I'll be back, guys. Hold on. All right, guys, we're back, and this is actually working out pretty well. Uh, I sat here for five more minutes, and I did get one or two more go through. I hate the glitches in this game. I really do sometimes. Um, but we got two more cactus green, which is really good. And I also added this little thing in here. Um, maybe I should throw a chest on you. Yeah, let's do that really quick. Let's grab a chest and throw it on top of it. Um, but what that thing will do is feed the uh, oak wood into it. And if you guys are wondering why I'm using oak wood, and actually, oh, I should be using sticks. Wait, hold on. I, I got to test something. Um, let's throw you on top and oak wood. I hate that glitch so much um, Oak wood would normally do 1.5 so you can see that this is gonna smelt it It just went in there. That was perfect timing actually hi phone you go brr. Um, It's gonna go through here, and then it should have a little bit more flames going in because it does 1.5 so maybe Just maybe let's grab okay. Let's grab stuff in here too Just really quick take these out And let's make you into sticks so we have four sticks here so if I throw you in there and throw you in there, how much is this going to do? I think it does like half a per stick. I, oh, my, it actually does um, 75. So it's actually even. Okay, yeah, it doesn't make much of a difference. I'm an idiot. Okay, so we're just going to toss in a ton of oak wood in there. And hopefully next time I come on the cube, there's like someone near spawn um, that are generating these chunks. So I can go ahead and do that stuff. So let's throw 64 in there. Um, 52. And let's just make all of these into oak planks and dump them all in there <laughs> so that we will keep having um, cactus go in here and come back and have tons of this cactus green stuff and from this I can use it to use our I could use this to, for the hardened clay and make it into some um, lime green clay and um, what's it called <laughs> I'm trying to think of the name of it just green hardened clay so guys I'll be back hold on all right guys I got Kevin Kevin! H-bomb 94! <clears throat> Kenny G! Uh, 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 prepared for that. Uh, <laughs> hey, how's right. it going? It's going pretty good. I heard from, like, through the Lord grapevine. The streets? No, through the grapevine. grapevine um, that you bought okay. this property from my boy G-Dog. Is this true? Yeah, is it, isn't it pretty? It's beautiful. I have to say it. Um, I want to give you an offer. Oh, you're offering me something? I would like to buy this property. Oh, interesting. I would, because I would like to lead this into my amusement park over there, which have you seen yet? No, I haven't seen that yet. Okay, well, after this, I'll, after this, I'll show you. Okay. After we discuss this. Okay. Um, so I'm willing... How much did you pay for it? I paid around... Uh, I paid like over 40 for it. 40. Like 45. 45 to be exact. 45 yeah i'll be willing to give you 55 gold blocks for this property 55 dude that's only like a 10 gold block profit and i will lose this property which over time will be at a higher valuation why would it be at a higher evaluation because the plots here at spawn are diminishing there are no more plots. Do you want to take a walk around spawn and see how many plots there are available? But I mean, is anyone actually building anything anymore around spawn? I feel like yeah. we have. I feel yeah. like we I have, have like, everything. I have like six other builds in mind. All right, what are you gonna build here? Well, that's at my discretion, H bomb. I can't tell you. You might steal my idea. I feel like you don't have any ideas. I do. I do. I promise you that I do. I need I, you to prove to me it. I promise you that I do. You you can't just promise me and not tell me, Kenny G. I I promise you that I'll do. I thought you were a good businessman. I am a good businessman, so I am protecting my intellectual rights. Actually, I have a couple of patents in my uh, in, in in my base over there. Do you want do you want a couple of patents? Just pieces of paper. <laughs> Are they written on yet or no? Hey. No, I mean they're just blank, but you know, and they're all filed by me, so you know. You so know they're not really patents. No, not really, but I guess. Yeah. So, okay, I'm willing to go sixty. Anyways, sixty. You'll go sixty. Yes. Okay, well, how about final 65? 64. Final. Fi okay, fine. I'll do 64. Shake on it. How do we shake on it? Stop okay. hitting me! Oh. Ow. Here you go. It's not even worth 64. Not. See you later, H-Bomb. No, no, I gotta show you the amusement park, which you're gonna be spending oh, money, right, a right, lot right. of money on later on. Okay, okay, okay. We'll do that. Let's go over here. It's flags. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, I get tons of green clay. Nice. <laughs> I didn't even realize that. 
Yeah, dude. Today I spent my episode getting hardened clay, and I need green and lime green clay, which is going to come in handy. You're welcome. So, Kenny G, what you're going to do is when you want to come in here, now it's not open, but you throw six gold blocks in here, and once you do that, you can buy a ticket for six flags. So go ahead, or six banners. I'm going to have to change all these for now. It's called Cube Bristle Studios now. So what you do with this, Kenny G, is you see how it's called Ticket for Six Banners? Yeah. You come over here, and you place it in the chest. Now, I just placed okay. mine in there. No, you have to go pay. Get out. No, I, I, dude, this is a free tour. No, go put it in there. H, you're the owner. What? Put uh. it. <laughs> Wait, did you not even grab one? I thought you grabbed one. I thought you were trying to steal it from no. me. Yeah, yeah. Uh, did I just throw it at the guy? No, you don't have to pay for it. Just grab a ticket. Oh, just grab a ticket. Yeah. Okay, I, I was gonna pay for one. <laughs> put that ticket I in there. Correct. So now you come on through here, and I will be selling plots, Kevin, which you might be interested in as well. So, Maybe. So right here you can see the red stuff. This is yeah. going to be a cart where you can sell food. I'm going to give this away to somebody Ooh. Ooh, I'll to take determine it. the price. Over oh. here you can have, we're going to have two food shops, one right here and one right here. Okay. And then I'm also working on making plots for games and roller coasters and stuff like that. So I actually built the first game, which is right here, Kevin which okay. a lot of people are going to be spending a lot of money on because it's the most frustrating thing in the world. Okay. So try and read how to play it. Hey, man, chest. Yep. And then you read this one. Aim for the tripwire. If you hit it, you will dunk Fred <clears throat> and earn an amazing prize. Put one gold ingot in the payment chest. You understand okay. that? No, that's not the payment chest, you silly guy. Okay. One payment in. Take a bow, and then I have to aim it for who? Nope, Red. nope, 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 no, no, no. Did you put? You didn't even put the gold ingot in, you liar. I did. I put it in here. Where'd it go? It went down there. I don't believe you actually put it in there. I, I swear that I did. Really? I swear. Yeah. How much do you swear? I swear on Uncle Fred. Kevin, I'm if I get it right now. Yep, you lied to me. No, I didn't. I promise you. I, promise <laughs> I you. don't believe you. Here, I here's swear. one arrow. Thank you. Now you got. <laughs> you're such a little liar. I know. I swear. I swear. All right, Did you put a gold check, block check or gold ingot in there? A gold block. No, gold ingot. That's why it didn't work. Oh. Okay, okay, I'll go anyways. grab that for you. Just try shooting. It. Try hitting it once. Just go ahead and try hitting it. Why can't I hit it? Because it's really, really difficult. I don't think this works. Oh, it does. Why isn't this working? Because it's really hard. I don't think this is... Oh, I think I got it. Nope. How do I know if I get it or not? Uh, it's a dunk tank game. This guy will get dunked into the water. See? You might have just messed it up possible. a little bit there. Yeah, it is. I don't think it's possible. Let me see. Oh... Uh... There you go. Oh, it is possible. This is really hard. That's why it's so cheap. Oh. What do you get <laughs> if you win? Um, I'm going to making... This isn't, like, public yet. Um, I'm uh, going to be making... Like, you know how in arcades you get, like, a ton of tickets and then you can redeem uh -huh. those tickets? Yeah, yeah, That's what yeah. I'm going to be pretty much doing. Like, I'm oh, going to be giving okay. away, like, armor stuff, like, enchanted stuff, really yeah. good stuff in the... In yeah, this like area over here. Right here, you could come in, oh, walk okay. in here, and then you could get like the teddy bears and stuff like that. Oh. Te Kenny G likes teddy bears. I like teddy bears. All right, Kenny G. Wait, let me grab you your gold block. Go in here. Yeah. yeah silly guy. I said gold ingot, and you just throw the gold block in there. I think I said gold ingot, anyways. This is uh, very complicated redstone stuff. Do you yep. like that? Yep, here, come grab it. Thanks. That's yours. Thank you. All right, get I out of here. What? No, I, I, I'm a customer here. I bought a, I bought a ticket. No, you didn't. You no, stole no, it. I didn't. You yeah, thief. I did steal it. All right, thanks for the property, Kevin. No, thank you, buddy. You chipped me off. All right, guys, I'm back, and we're gonna end the episode now. But what I'm gonna be doing with this is I'm gonna be trying to make a fancy little walkway, a little stylish walkway into the uh, Cube Versal Studios, which I do actually just realize that I actually have to change all of the names from these. I actually wouldn't have noticed it if it wasn't for Kevin coming or me showing Kevin around. Ticket for six banners. I need to change it to tickets for um, Cube Versal Studios. So I'm gonna be working on some of that stuff. Um, this all needs to be cleaned up, including up there. <laughs> That's going to be kind of annoying. Um, it shouldn't be that bad, though. 
I'm gonna need a lot of dirt, which I do have some extra dirt for. So we should be good. I just have to work on some of this off camera. And I hope, oh, there's my phone, hi phone. I hope you guys did enjoy this episode of the Cube Zmp. If you did, be sure to leave a like, get out of here. <gasps> In a clads.